All right, here for round three of the Modern Showcase. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand looks great. Uh, it's got ramp, it's got amulet, it's got a bounce land. Um, in cutting down to the one Talaria West, I did put in an extra Celestian Sanctuary in the deck. So, um, just a thing to mention of how much worse this hand would look with a Talaria West rather than a Celestia Sanctuary here. Opponent has n revealed no companion, which could mean a lot of things. The scariest of which is probably like Blue Red Mercatide. Happy to see a mold of five could indicate something like Tron or Dredge being on like no companion aggressively mulliganing would love to be playing against Dredge that's a great matchup okay so it does look like we're against some sort of probably Merktide deck um, since they have no companion. We'd like to see like a Titan because then I could Summoner's Pact for Grazer and, and Titan on turn two, which Seems like a nice thing to be doing. That was maybe too much to ask for though. So I could Celestia Sanctuary, Grazer, Celestia Sanctuary, Azusa, Force, Radiant Fountain, make token. I think I like that. Keep Sanctuary in hand. Uh, we're about to get a second amulet, so that'll help us cast our Titan. Um, but if our opponent is just holding up Counterspell, then they're not killing the, um, Azusa, and we can maybe get, like, Map for Cavern of Souls or something, or just make Constructs, so I like our spot. Ideally, our opponent just, like, bolts this Azusa, and then we just win... Or like cast, I guess the best case scenario would be just like an expressive iteration, like the world's saddest expressive iteration. Okay, I'm pretty sure this means we win uh, because we're going to be making two titans, so even through Unholy Heat, uh, we're going to get to attack with a titan. Um... So we'll pre have a pretty intense combo turn this coming turn. Suppose opponent could have force of negation, that would get us pretty good. So I guess Given that Force of Negation is a card, I'm supposed to Summoner's Pact right here. Opponent does have the Force. Okay. So I'll make a Construct. Suppose I'm getting Expedition Map. Um, probably, probably just gonna make an Urza Saga, honestly. These, I think we can just kill our opponent with Saga Tokens.
don't actually need to cast the card Primeval Titan. So best thing our opponent can do here is just like drop a Merc Tide, but uh, then we can just sort of patiently make Saga Tokens. Yeah, I mean, our, our opponent, after that double consider turn two, which was not exciting, is probably doing the best things that they can be doing, given the situation they're in. So I suppose we'll lead on Explore. Um, guess get our tokens. Uh, and I'm not going to attack here. I'll wait till next turn to attack. My tokens will be bigger. I will be getting in more damage. It does give them more time to draw things like Unholy Heats, but, uh... The Merktide Regent is sort of forever stuck on blocking duty. Even if they had some sort of good attack, we always have Grazer iteration. Our opponent is fighting. Likely won't be enough, though. Because, like, they have to basically hit on Holy Heat. Okay, they do hit on Holy Heat. So their way of winning is to hit, have hits forever, and for us to only draw land. I mean, they're even locked into chumping with this Murktide this coming turn. They don't have a choice. I mean, not chumping. I guess it's trading. And that's just lethal. Okay, so against Blue Red Merc Blue Red Merktide, I don't like Urza Saga. I like Foundation Breaker for Blood Moon, but not Force of Vigor. Uh, Cavern Bajuka Bog. Um, and the other cards to look at are Engineered Explosives and Relic of Progenitus. I kind of like the idea of Relic, maybe like. Two relics, cut a colossus. Maybe Karn's not all that great. I mean, if we had like an a, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It's good against Blood Moon, but if we had it, would Karn would feel a lot better if we had an ensnaring bridge in our board. Uh, so maybe I'll cut the Karns, bring in a relic, bring in an engineered explosives. Maybe I like Colossus since we're cutting the Karns. I don't want to go too threat light, especially against a deck that is doing like dress down and counter spells. I want to make sure I do hit a threat. Is there any way I can fit in one engineered explosives? Probably not. I think I want all of these cards. Maybe I can cut an explorer for an engineered explosives. I don't think that's worth it. Oh, I should have cut the Expedition map. I guess Expedition map, though, uh, grabs Cavern. This hand's awkward. I wish it had, like, one more land, and I would probably keep it. I'll keep this bottom Vesuva. 
So we're threatening turn three Primeval Titan, which does get under Blood Moon, but um, opponent mulligans to three cards. Okay. That's, uh, that's rough. I don't know if maybe they're just, like, aggressively looking for Blood Moon. I guess when they're on the play, they could, they could get under Titan with a turn three Blood Moon. Turn one Ragavan, I guess that is the thing you want to do when you're on a mulligan to three. If they go hit me, land, Blood Moon, that would be, uh, probably they can beat me. They do not. Okay. Uh, so let's lead on Explore, I suppose. Counterspell, okay. That's fine. If they were going to counterspell something, I'd rather it be an Explore than the Grazer. because I really want to block this Ragavan. Breaker, not a bad pickup. Okay. Well, we are getting a little flooded here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll play out the Simic. I don't think it really matters between Simic and Celestia on this spot. Okay, maybe Unholy Heat coming from opponent. Sure. Uh, so I guess I'll lead on Sumner's Pack. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're foundation breakering a treasure token. This is the world we live in. But our opponent is on zero cards. Uh, I'll hold lands in case we draw Colossus. We have enough mana in play if we hit Talaria West to be able to transmute and Titan. Okay, that's almost certainly game. In fact, I think this is just a lethal attack. So, opponent unfortunately mulliganed to three, and we were able to beat a mulligan to three. So, yeah. Not much else to say about this match. Very good to get lucky against this matchup because this is a really hard matchup. So uh, you definitely do need some amount of luck to win. And uh, in this case, that luck came in the form of our opponent uh, taking, what, uh, two mulligans game one and four. So six mulligans between two games. So... Alright, see everyone for the next round.